To much of the shoreline, just seeing kind of freezing rain and rain slop out there for much of the day today, but a little further north and that snow is in full swing, especially out to the western part of the state. Meteorologist Sam Cantor, Live Force in Danbury tonight. And Sam, what a difference it makes up there, right? Yeah, you know, there really is a very big difference depending on where you are. In, in and around the Waterbury area, boy, oh boy, there was a decent amount of snow over there. We actually stopped ourselves a little bit uh, away from Danbury. We're in Prospect right now. While it's not Thanksgiving yet, there are some people who are definitely not looking forward to the fact that it feels a lot more like winter. You ready for winter? I am now. <laughs> it's getting me working here. 25 days until the official beginning of winter 2014 in Connecticut is already starting early. Winter waits for nobody, but today there were big changes from town to town. We started today with mid 40s and rain statewide. By 7:30, Danbury already had a dusting of snow. At 11 a.m., Warren saw three inches of snow, but along the shoreline, for some time, drivers locked out. Yeah, we're trying to kind of stay. Close to 95 where it's going to be rain. For some in Connecticut, winter fought hard. For others, warmer temperatures fought the good fight. It's a really fine line between rain and snow in a low pressure system. You got the map of Connecticut over here. The closer you are to a low pressure system as it passes on by, typically over towards Cape Cod, the cooler air takes a lot more time to move itself over towards you. So you typically will get what is a rain snow line. Southeastern Connecticut, a lot of the time, ends up getting the rain, whereas in northwestern Connecticut, they end up getting more snow. In this situation, spots to the northwest, also some of the higher elevations in the northeast, well, they're going to get the most snow in this case. So the highest amount of precipitation falling mostly as sleet and rain will happen in the east. The coldest temps with snow falling, especially at high elevations, will also happen in western Connecticut. Yeah, and that's where the huge difference this year versus last year was. Last year, every single day it snowed. It was 15, 20 degrees. This time around, right here in Prospect at least, it looks like a little bit of a sleety sort of rain type mix. Hey, for more information, you can always go to WXH.com. We also have the awesome uh, WXH app. You can go ahead and download that. I'm meteorologist Sam Cantor in Prospect. News 8.